I'm feeling terribly blue today. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> okay, that's better. Since I'm not blue anymore, we can start to work. If you want to edit and work with Slide Master, you have to go to View and click on the Slide Master. Once you are in the Slide Master, you see a bunch of things. Those are layouts. Layouts, if you right click here, you can see multiple layouts, but those are only the normal classic layouts. If you are doing a template for PowerPoint, you want your own layout. So either you delete those or you simply select right click and insert a layout between them. You can decide if you want the title to be here and the footer to be here by selecting them here. Why would you use layouts? Layouts are used if you want to do multiple slides very quickly, you would use that. I'll select insert placeholder and the most important and the biggest one would be content. But we can also use for example picture. Let me insert a normal with my shift key a picture layout. This time I would like a slide with three pictures, Control C, Control V or simply press Ctrl D to duplicate the existing object. Right now I have a brand new layout. Let me just quickly click on them. Go to align, align selected objects and I want to distribute them horizontally between them. Okay, right now I have a brand new PowerPoint layout which will be added to this entire template. Just for showcase, let me delete those other layouts or at least the ones that can be deleted because there is one default layout which cannot be deleted, which is this one. So let me put it as the first one. And we have this custom layout. I would like to have more layouts with pictures. I'll use nothing else in my presentation, just pictures. I'm inserting another layout. We can of course even rename those layouts like tree pick and working further along. I'll insert another placeholder and anytime you will do some layout within PowerPoint within the slide master, you will insert multiple placeholders. Okay, I want one text placeholder on the right side. Okay, we could possibly go to home, we could enlarge the text, we could make this text orange and right now when someone would start to write in this layout, it would be automatically orange. This is good if you want to have 20 or 30 orange slides and you do not want to always either copy this or always edit the formatting. You want a ready layout which does that for you, which would be perfect if you do presentations for a company. Okay, and here I want a custom picture layout. I'll go to insert, oh sorry, slide master, insert placeholder and insert another picture placeholder. Okay, with my shift key I make it like this. Now I'll go to insert shapes because I would like to cut out a custom shape out of this placeholder. I'll use one of the shapes we have available here, for example, a circle or something like this, or even a triangle. It really doesn't matter. It depends, of course, on your presentation. Okay, maybe this hexagon. I'll put this here with my shift key. I'll try to position it about in the middle of this picture smaller, bigger, okay, like this. And if you want to cut this out, you need to select the, the layout and you need to shift click on this new object. And as normally you, you would work with shapes, you can go to format, merge shapes, and you can intersect this. This is available since PowerPoint 2013. PowerPoint 2010 didn't have this function and PowerPoint 2011 on Mac also didn't have it. So I'm selecting intersect here and I have a custom picture layout. Note that if I click on it, it still appears as a rectangle. But if not, we have a perfect picture hexagon layout like this. What's cool here, look at that. Now comes the real fun. Let's say that I have this hexagon and I'm creating like a multiple picture uh, layout design here. 
I'm creating like a honeycomb or something. I hope this is how it's called. Ctrl D to duplicate and something like this. This would be layout number one. And what's cool here, I can just duplicate this slide and I can make basically the same layout, just those pictures this time on the right side, maybe another place and this text on the left. This is, for example, let's assume that I have 40 slides here with different layouts, different positions of the images. Let me duplicate one more. So this time the text would be on the bottom and those pictures, I'll try to grab them. It will be a bit difficult because, because PowerPoint. Okay. Selecting them, boom, boom, boom. A completely different layout. Well, somewhat okay. I'm selecting all of them. They will be put here on the top side. I have now three layouts. I'm closing the master view and I'm doing a new presentation for my company. I have opened this template. I'll select new slide and I can simply right click. I can select layout and look at that. I have that three pick layout. I have, of course, I didn't name them. One custom layout, two custom layout, three custom layout and boom. Taking any pictures you have on the PC, boom, dragging and dropping them, boom, two more and ready text. The text is automatically orange and in a matter of second, if this would be a bit better prepared, you have a wonderful slide. You could be possibly so happy that you would shoot fireballs out of your finger. Poo 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 poo. So this is how it works. This is how Slide Master can be utilized and you can just right click, layout, custom layout, boom, next layout, new images, boom, new images, boom of course apart the last one very quickly two custom slides of course they are a bit awkwardly placed but you can still take them you can still move this around you can resize it it's just convenient that you do not have to drag everything over you do not have to duplicate slides because you can just new slide right click layout and you can select the layout that you have prepared so depending on how much layout you prepare this good the template will be. I hope this is exactly what you expected from this tutorial. Not just me being blue, but um, having a good consistent information about what slide masters are and how to utilize pictures in slide master. This is not a topic for one tutorial. This is only showcasing you how to add layouts, how to add pictures to those layouts and how to crop those pictures. I'll try to record more about Slide Master if you will like this. And I have also more about this in my online courses, in my PowerPoint Masterclass, which will be appearing here in the corner and definitely down bottom in the description. So if you would like to learn PowerPoint like a pro with me and shoot fireballs, poo -poo -poo -poo, you know where to find me, you know where to find my courses. For today, I'm ending the recording and see you in other lectures like this.